he's gone from TNA, and I have to ask you a couple of questions about that situation. What's your motivation for being the referee in that match? Well, you know, Mike, because I'm the director of authority, just the act for the match. I just can't give matches to people that ask for matches. My job is to determine whether they deserve the match. So the bottom line is, if Dusty won this match, what was he going to give me back in return? What are the stakes? What's in hand here? And basically, if Dusty loses this match, he will be forced to walk away from TNA. Well, I was also going to ask you about motivation in terms of adding that stipulation that Dusty leaves TNA if he loses. But I think you pretty much answered it with that last response. There's no question. He wants the match. He's got the match. But what is Dusty willing to put on? On the line. That's what I wanted to know. We see professional wrestling's newest dream team. First, it was a phenomenal AJ Styles. Now, his tag team partner, the charismatic Enigma Jeff Hardy, the man who will challenge Jeff Jarrett for the NWA World Title this Wednesday night in Vince Russo. How do you answer the charge from several members of the TNA roster that you have shown favoritism towards the phenomenal AJ Styles? towards Jeff Hardy, and even someone like the Wildcat, Chris Harris of America's Most Wanted. Well, again, Mike, I, I don't know where that's coming from. I, I've said from day one that you're going to get an equal opportunity here in NWA, and that's exactly what's happening. I know Monty Brown right now isn't happy with my decision to not put him at the top of the heap, but as I said, until he proves himself as a wrestler, not as a football player, as a wrestler, Monty and Brown is going to have to get in line like everybody else. These guys earn their strike. Look at AJ right there. He earned that. I didn't give that to him. i got to ask you this, Vince. You said as long as you were here in TNA that Dusty Rhodes would have a place. Now you've literally put it on the line that if Dusty loses, he goes. And I know you talked to him about that, but at what point did you get to that point? The, the point I got, Don, is week after week after week, Dusty was going out grandstanding. He went grandstanding last night. You saw who he was. The, who was he again with the mask and the playing his 1980 character that he played that back the then? Midnight Rider. Yeah, Midnight Rider. He grandstanded me last night. He grandstanded me for the last time. Now it's time for Dusty Rhodes to put up or shut up. That's the way we do things here in NWA TN. If you think it's any coincidence that the elite guard as we see Hernandez take AJ up to there and then drop him right across the apron. Any coincidence that they're in this main event tag team matchup, then you must not know that Hernandez and Onyx the guard are hired mercenaries of the NWA World Heavyweight Champion Jeff Jarrett. Don, you know this, they came to Jarrett several months ago. They offered their services. He was only too happy to oblige. He hired them as backup. To me, it's obvious that the elite guard are here to take out Jeff Hardy to weaken him before Wednesday night. Oh, absolutely. Jeff Hardy's going to have to be very careful when he's out in that ring. He's going to have to be himself, but he's going to have to really keep his eye on both Hernandez and Onyx because like you said, you know Jeff Garrett talks to these guys and said any cheap shots you can take, take them. If you can put him out of the match for next week, do it. I, you, you know Hardy would rather retain that chance to get without earning it. Again, Jeff Hardy. Wow, the guard with the double team moves and the double shoulder block. And he takes Styles down. Now Jeff Hardy tries to get into the stage and help his partner here. He's telling the referee Posey, but Hernandez only able to get a on AJ Styles. Let's talk about Jeff Hardy. Let's talk about the passion that he has for professional wrestling. This Russo is back Wednesday night, in my opinion. If Jeff Hardy can channel that passion, that desire, of course, along with the incredible athletic ability that he has, he really could make history by becoming the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Well, you know, there's no question, Mike, but, but what my concern is, is that we know Jeff Jarrett. Let, let's go. Oh, oh, and what Jarrett has been attempting to do the last couple of weeks is get in the head of Jeff Hardy. That is the game plan of, of Jeff Jarrett. He came out here earlier tonight and said, basically, keep your enemies close and your friends close. Now, come on. That's Jeff Jarrett at his best. And if Hardy allows Jarrett to do that, Jeff Jarrett might walk, walk out of that ring still the heavyweight champ. What would it mean to this company, do you think? It would mean everything to this company because, in my opinion, Jeff Hardy is professional wrestling today. He exemplifies the sport. He takes risks. He's high flying. He's innovative. Jeff Hardy is what this company is all about. You know, we talked about Jared and Hardy being the stroke versus the swan time. And I think that Jared, he really thought that Hardy had no answer for the figure. Oh, 
Moved there by AJ Styles. That's why he's phenomenal. Unreal. Sorry, Mike. That was just something out of this world. Watch Hardy go high risk, but he's cut off by Onyx. I think we found out this past Wednesday. Jeff Jarrett did as well. But Jeff Hardy has a submission move of his own as he was able to take Jarrett down with that spine line. But you've Hardy. got to understand again, Mike, his Jeff, this Could is what this he does the best. Con? That's it. Oh, man. He was so grateful in it. He Put, a it the last Put a fork in. Put a fork in. They are the newest dream team of professional wrestling. Hardy. Jeff Hardy, AJ Styles, they score the win. They knock off the elite guard in our main event. September 8th, it's the date with fate, it's Jeff Hardy, Jeff Jarrett for the World Championship. And I'm telling you, you, you hey, don't hey, want to hey. miss this one because I predict that history will be made Wednesday night. Jeff Hardy will be the new champion. It's Wednesday night, Hardy challenges Jarrett for the title.